right, if you have allergies, the last few weeks have probably been a little bit rough with the sneezing and the itchy eyes, and the allergy season, unfortunately, is far from over. Mary Nichols has more for us tonight in Check Your Health. Well, the allergy season is just starting to pick up, unfortunately. The allergy season comes in waves. First, it's tree pollens that blow into the region as winter moves out. But now that summer is on Utah's doorstep, grass pollens are causing the watery eyes and sneezing. Grass is particularly difficult and a problem here in Utah. And most people who come in to see me are allergic to grass. Dr. Scott Taylor is an allergist at Riverton Hospital. He says he sees a lot of new patients every year, people who have never had allergies until now. And in fact, we see some people who don't come in until they're adult, you know, because they finally realize it's happening every year. And then some people get it brand new if they move from another area. Dr. Taylor says there are some things you should do if you suffer from allergies. First, keep your windows closed. Also, wear sunglasses and hats. And try not to be outdoors in the morning when pollen counts are higher. You may also want to consider allergy testing or even allergy shots. Where you give increasing amounts of what someone is allergic to over time and desensitize them, it works about 80 to 90 percent. And remember, the season is far from over. Fall allergies can be especially rough for those who suffer from seasonal allergies. Weeds are a concern. They're present all year round, but they pollinate in the fall. So things like sagebrush, Russian thistle, which is tumbleweed, and others will come out in uh, September, October time. Mary Nichols for Check Your Health. And this is interesting. Doctors say they often see women who develop allergies after they give birth for the first time. For more information on allergies, you can just go to our website at KUTV.com and then be sure to click on the Check Your Health link.